Hello everybody, my name is Gatem, welcome back for another video of Age of History 2. We're going to continue this series. In the last video, we went ahead and continued our campaign with the Chinese uh, side, well, the Asian side, I guess. We're playing as the Chiang Empire, basically. Uh, we've got, uh, we delivered, freed a bunch of territories by defeating the Mongolians. Uh, and the first, uh, ter first video, I think... Uh, as Asian territory and stuff like that and uh, went ahead and did it and freed uh, ba basically a lot of uh, stuff and all, and all but we managed to refocus our efforts on basically annexing a lot of those back and now we've got a lot of territories from that uh, I am eventually gonna try and declare war to the An dynasty as soon as we're not at peace we have a we still have a truce I, I'm not sure actually we do not have a truce with them I think I'm pretty sure I can send an ultimatum. So that's what I kind of want to do today is I want to try and beat the Han Dynasty for good this time around or beat them up right now. All right. So that's where the first thing we're going to do uh, today is we're going to beat them up, boys, uh, big time. We're going to make them suffer. So first thing we're going to do provinces, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, I can only go to 10. So. Uh, eight nine i guess right here and ten so i'm gonna take all of this from them and the rest the rest i imagine you can give me military access and in exchange send the ultimatum we'll see if they accept or not i do not have any soldiers right here for some reason bordering this it's kind of weird boys i don't have any soldiers right now or am i already at war with somebody though Oh, I am at war with the um, the at home. I forgot about that. I was at war with uh, with these guys. Yeah, I forgot about the fact I'm at war with them. That's why I'm not. I don't have any anyone boarding anybody. Okay, all right. I see. I forgot. Uh, forgot about that detail, boys. That little detail right there. Okay. Well, I got you. Hold on. We're gonna just secure our places right here. I gotta really make sure that I get a lot of. Uh, recruitments a lot of soldiers and all so I can protect myself a little bit better here there I go just make that and let's skip the turn boys let's see what's gonna happen here they took this uh, we retook this territory but they took that back again um, the Han Dynasty did accept our ultimatum so at least there's a the guy there's that that's good so We've got, uh, they, they accept their ultimatum, so we've got another extra 20 ter 29 turns before dealing with them. Uh, we are going to assimilate everybody right here. If we can, I think we can. Yeah, we can. So that's uh, a really good one. So now that that is done, we can actually get some soldiers over here. And I'm obviously going to do the supply camps everywhere, libraries and farms and everything. But it's really, it's fantastic now. We've got a lot more territories just from that. I mean, they just gave me free stuff, basically, right here. It's really good for me. All right, so I, I went ahead and did everything for all the new territories. I uh, put all the modifications I needed to do and everything, so we're good. And uh, I think the main reason for sure is th that the Han Dynasty just decided to accept that ultimatum is because they're still at war. You can see they're at war with somebody else right now, it looks like. Or they're getting invaded, at least, to say the least, unless that's their territory. Oh no, that's just their own soldiers doing that. Okay, moving there. So they're not at war with anybody, but they just, like not too long ago, were at war in a huge war against the Mongolians and they lost it. So obviously, it took a, a, a toll on them. So they're not going to try and go to war with another big empire or anything, right? That's not something I imagine that they want. they would be too proud of trying. So right now, we're just going to move there, I guess. We're going to recruit some more soldiers. Uh, we're going to keep going there uh, and moving all of my new recruits and stuff like that until I can actually protect myself properly, you know? So I got to keep recruiting soldiers right here because I don't know uh, whether uh, they're going to try and attack me right here. So we're going to go towards there for him. And for him, I'm not too, quite sure where to go. I, I got to try and defeat them on that side. I got to get some armies right here as well. Uh, gets uh, some armies that does not belong to me. Okay, that's fine. Okay, so yeah, we get, we really got to try and just defeat these guys uh, big time and quick. Because otherwise we're going to be stuck in that war forever, boys. So there we go. We retook that with a, a, a good amount of effort. 
Uh, they're gonna try and assault me from every side though, yeah. They took back two territories, so... I take one, they took two of them, take uh, two of those, so... It's gonna be a tough one. Definitely gonna be a challenging one, boys. I am not sure how I'm gonna do all of this, but... Uh, we're gonna try our best right here. Let me recruit some soldiers right here. Uh, I'm gonna try and refortify this, try to retake this. I gotta go from the back right here, from the back side and uh get some more soldiers we're gonna go with these uh this army we're gonna split it in half i guess go one of them over there and the other one right there to get uh, some more soldiers along the way right here we still got some more soldiers right here so i guess we are gonna send them over over here for reinforcements and all just gonna send them for reinforcements i don't need anybody here so i gotta i gotta put him there just in case there's something that happens so for now it looks like we're okay uh, we just need to survive against these guys it's a big war and I'm not sure if we're gonna be really able to to do too much to them in the short term we're gonna it's probably gonna be a long-term war right here so let's try and see if we can just push make some small push here and there and maybe I uh, push them out like that but they're coming back every time look at that every time now they did try to attack us again and they lost pretty much big time right here so we're starting to do good a little bit better here and there but it's pretty much a 50 50 situation for that wall right now uh we've got more assimilation to do because they keep taking these territories i'm trying to assimilate and uh that prevents me from doing stuff with them so we are going to recruit some soldiers here just in case they try and assault us uh we are going to attack with him attack on this side with this guy right here and with this guy we're gonna attack right there reinforce just in case and we're gonna tell assault right here boys just in case keep reinforcing though uh, we uh, got some soldiers right here so might as well do that we are gonna send these guys over right here uh, actually I'm gonna send this guy over here but uh, I, I don't want um, well I, I'll have a choice I already put it there I guess just gonna put this guy over here then uh, we are gonna recruit some soldiers right here it's just to prevent them from uh, actually attacking me prevent uh, an eventual assault right here so I can't let them do that so I think we're protected from every side we should be uh, good I think we are boys so let's keep for the next turn let's go for the next turn let's see the assault right here boom just like that we did not manage to take uh, Lhasa right there we didn't manage to take the other two other territories this one as well all right, we are moving in. I think the only thing they've got left, who are we, uh, what's their territory right now? Okay, so that's the entire territory they've got. So all of this belongs to them. We gotta retake this because this is the only one they've got left that belongs to me. Actually, these three territories belong to me. Uh, the rest, I gotta retake all of this, boys. So it's gonna be a, a long battle. It's definitely gonna be a long battle. Let's keep uh, going for research right here. Okay, that, uh, there it is. So uh, keep uh, going for assimilation as well while we're at it. Good. All right, so let's keep moving. Let's get these soldiers right here. We're going to keep reinforcing just in case anything anything bad happens. We are going to attack over here with this guy. There we go, just like that. Uh, we're going to keep uh, reinforcing. I'm going to go here just in case, just like that. All right, so these guys are okay. I'm gonna go. Uh, I'm gonna go actually here for this guy, just like that. And we're gonna go over here for this one. And we've got some soldiers right here. Let's keep reinforcing. Actually, let's go over here. I guess. There we go. And uh, let's keep reinforcing right here. We got some soldiers. Uh, I think uh, I'm gonna go and send these guys over there. Uh, I don't want to send these. These are kind of reinforcements. I'm going to send them. I'll uh, send these reinforcements over there. And same thing for you. I, I need to send you somewhere. So do that right, uh, really quick, boys. Uh, we already are doing the research thingy. I think we're good. I don't think we have anywhere else to go. So let's keep it moving, boys. It's a big time war right now. Starting the video on fire right here with uh, the continuation of this huge war and all. Uh, we got as you can see we've got a lot of mini soldiers mini armies going places to places i'm actually gonna send back these guys to the borders so they can protect me 
I can uh, definitely send you over here for sure. I need to reinforce this. Keep attacking right here. Reinforce all the borders. Go over here. There we go. And uh, you are going to go over here. Good. Uh, for you, I guess you can reinforce this. Same thing for you. And I guess this one, I don't know where to send him. I'm going to send him to south. Same thing for you. So just reinforce that border, actually. That border over there. Okay. That seems to be it, boys. Let's go to 80%. Still got more assimilation to do once again. Once again, boys. So just keep doing the, all the assimilation right here. All right. Eventually, we'll get all of them. Well, there we go. We just destroyed a huge part of his army. I'm pretty sure he, he's defeated at this point. Pretty sure he can't do anything else. So let's just spend... Let's send re as reinforcements this army over there and this one over here. Uh, you are going to just head back there. And we've got two armies definitely at war, still uh, moving on, so uh, marching on. So we're going to send that guy over here. They've got like three territories left, boys. So there's not much they can do here. I'm pretty sure we're going to be fine. Uh, keep doing the assimilation part, though. Every time. Eventually, I'm going to be able to end that goddamn war and, and, and actually go against another territory, doing ult other ultimatums. Okay. More more of those more assimilation okay fine by me let's keep moving boys we got this army it's gonna be fine more than enough to deal with the remaining three territories right here so we'll do that for sure i want to annex completely that ter uh, that those guys i'm pretty sure i can do that so uh, let's keep it moving there we go we just defeated that guy uh, we're gonna actually split in half now uh, even though it's unwise to do that I think uh, just to save some time, I'm pretty sure they don't have anything protecting them too much uh, left. So we should be alright. We should ju be just fine, boys. So let's do our thing right here. Let's keep skipping. Boom, that's taken. And the other one's taken. So all of it is taken. We officially won the battle, boys. It's pretty much over. We can uh, make peace, uh, peace negotiations uh, right away. So let's, uh, we are at 100%. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, all seven of your territories, my guy, and 50 turns of truce. Send the demands, boom, just like that. Next turn, we should have all of that belonging to us. We did it, boys. We are officially, uh, we officially annexed them. We won the war once again. Uh, we are gonna go ahead and assimilate everyone, just like that. Everybody is getting assimilated. Good. Uh, next part of the whole thing is we're going to need to start working on the farms, libraries, and supply camps. So I'm actually going to end up doing that uh, off video real quick. Right, I think it's done. I think we did it, boys. So I managed to uh, obviously take care of all the little territories right here. Look at our empire. Look how strong it is. We are currently sitting at 19th overall. So we are... Not there yet, not there uh, in the top 15 just yet, but uh, we're gonna get there for sure. I'm pretty actually, we should be there. No, we are there. There we go. We actually are in, in the top four, boys. So, even probably better than the Aztec Empire in a minute. Maybe, maybe in the next turn, we'll be uh, actually stronger than the uh, Aztec Empire, boys. So, what do we want to go after next? Who, who do we want to go after next? Pretty sure we're gonna go against these guys, the Pong, right? They've got all these like side territories right here. We're gonna ask, we're gonna, uh, they're gonna be our next target. So give me all three of your territories, buddy. Uh, or else, actually, I can't do anything because I don't um, have enough points. All right, let's go to the next turn then, and then we'll uh, be able to do something. So now I can do, uh, I can definitely send them an ultimatum. So let's go do that right away. Select do an ultimatum boom just like that that is uh, completed let's skip boys next turn there we go so we just annex them just uh, as easily as that uh, we are going to need to focus on all the little efforts right here so farms library supply camps and everything we are also going to need to assimilate all three territories just like that getting a bunch of armies all across the board as well just protect our borders and everything we are expanding so fast, boys. It's quite unbelievable when you think about it. And we came from like two little provinces, one or two little provinces from all of this right here. 
So that's uh, it's quite a lot. It's quite a lot. Uh, we are gonna go after. Actually, this is free territory right here. We're gonna start colonizing this then. Yeah, we need to start colonizing this. This is free territory, boys. Uh, big time right here. So we actually are starting to colonize our first territories, which is very good indeed. Very good. So I'm gonna keep working on the supply camps, libraries, and farms for these. And I uh, think uh, we're pretty much good for this turn. Let's keep it up. There we go. So I think uh, before going to another war with anybody else, I think I'm just going to start colonizing all of this that's left right here, uncolonized. And afterwards, I'll go back after uh, after the other ones, uh, the other people. So we don't we are not actually um, bordering anybody here, so I don't need to have anybody. Uh, we're going to do the same thing. I'm going to just reinforce every territory right there. Same thing for you, buddy. You can reinforce that. And I uh, think that's pretty much good. We're going to go and send that guy over there. And yeah, uh, every, everything's good aside from that. Uh, keep reinforcing places like this. I thought this was a, a natural country. I guess it's just a free land, boys. There's actually nobody here. Uh, let me send you over there because you don't, you're not neighboring anybody. Uh, what farms, supply camps. There we go. Libraries. Uh, get another one of those again. Now you can have some soldiers a quite a good amount of them as well 400 uh, Divisions, that's that's really good boys Okay, let's go to 80% right here. Let's keep it moving or a year 526 turn 62 boys you already know at turn 100 is when uh, We're actually gonna switch uh, countries so let's see really quick. Let's keep uh, doing our thing. I am not neighboring anybody. So you are going to actually go over that side. We are going to give you the supply camps and everything. Farms, all the good stuff. Uh, I, I'm doing pressing the wrong things right here. Libraries. Uh, there we go. We still have enough for probably two. Uh, two more colonization or actually just one. All right. Well, that, that's fine. As long as we just keep doing it. We're going to be just fine, boys. So... Let's give you the next turn again. There we go, just like that. Research 80%. Uh, we are gonna colonize this one now, just like that. 700 divisions. This is a really rich tile. These are rich tiles, boys. They're giving me a lot of resources in terms of divisions, army uh, buildup, and stuff like that. That's really good. We actually are um, able to recruit a lot of soldiers from that. Uh, let's keep colonizing these mountains right here and, uh, and everything libraries of farms and supply camps as, uh, as usual there we go next turn again we're already at turn 65 we are gonna have a new point to use right here after i do the 80 percent all right so we got already five out of 30 for the research i'm gonna do colonization costs now because we are starting to do that so it's very important to work on that one there we go man holy we're getting really quite a lot right here, resources. It's really fun. I don't even need to uh, focus too much on anything, right? Uh, I don't need to worry about anything because colonization is giving me a lot of armies right here. It's giving me a huge army, much bigger than I thought I would be able to have. I am not at truce with them actually anymore. So I'm not even at, tr uh, I don't even have a truce uh, with the, the Xongyu anymore. So I can actually send them an ultimatum we're about to have a part two against these guys. I don't know. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. You're gonna give me all of this, buddy. You better give me all of this. Let's go. And you're gonna give me the military access as well. All right. Let's see. Let's find out if in the next turn we're about to have um, a round two with the Mongolian Empire, or if we're just gonna actually be able to annex them if they uh, accept the annexation. Which they did not. They did not accept the annexation. We're about to have a part two against them then. It's about to happen, boys. So part two against the these guys. They are currently in a civil war. Uh, there's some rebels actually fighting uh, them right here. So they have a civil war problem. So in the middle of that, it's a perfect timing for me to declare war to them and uh, start assaulting them, boys. Perfect timing. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and do that. We're going to reinforce all of our borders right here as well while we're doing that. Boom, just like that. We're going to keep reinforcing and get a bunch of more uh, armies uh, along the way and stuff like that. 
Yeah, we, we're getting a lot of soldiers available uh, uh, on recruitment part, boys. It's really good. Look at that. The amount of soldiers I can get. And that's the only... Well, actually, no. I got this side right here I got to worry about. Uh, but that's okay because I can keep recruiting more soldiers and stuff. Uh, for the most part, it's recruiting more soldiers than the original... Uh, uh, for the most part, it's me recruiting even twice like or three times more soldiers than I actually already had in those territories. The ones that are actually attacking. So that's quite good, boys. It's uh, even better. So let's keep attacking, I guess. Not sure how much of an early success we're going to get against them, but we are definitely going to beat them up. We beat them up once and now they're weaker than they were. So uh, they, they don't stand a chance, especially since they have... Uh, um, Rebellion on their hands, so they really cannot uh, uh, afford to go to war with us And it's too bad for them because I'm going at war with them. There we go taking a lot of terrorists They don't even have anything to defend themselves. See they are not actually even defending themselves. So uh, That's even uh, its own thing right there. So I don't need to send anybody here. I guess uh, I'll send this guy I'll reinforce him not an attack with him. Just reinforce him really quick We're gonna send this guy over here and send this one right there uh, right there. Uh, we are gonna send the extra forces right here. Just like that. I don't think there's anybody there, so I don't think I need to reinforce. Uh, I'm gonna reinforce you though. Go over here. There we go. Just like that. Keep attacking. You are gonna go on that side right there. Uh, you're gonna reinforce that territory right here. I think that's good. And you're gonna just go there simply. And I guess I don't need to really uh, reinforce anybody, so I guess I'm just gonna. Yeah, go there and that side. You are going to continue to go over there, uh, over there and over here for you. And next part, these guys right here, they're attacking. They're going to continue their assault. Uh, I am going to go on that side right here. Same thing for you. Just like that. I think I am attacking from every side. We do have an extra point. Let's spend it on colonization. Let's go for the 80%. Actually, we've got to start doing 75% now. Because we are starting to get a lot of armies on our territories. So let's uh, keep doing the assault, boys. Boom. Just like that. Keep attacking. They don't have actually anything defending them. So I don't even need to reinforce behind me at all. So that's a really good thing, boys. Really good thing. 75% over there. All right, go. Cool. We're doing so well. And I love it, boys. It's unbelievable how good you can do, right? When you, you know what you're doing. When you have all the the, the army at the, your disposition and uh, when you have all the armies in the world right around your fingertips you know it's so easy to do anything you want I, i'm just at this point crushing i'm literally crushing them into pieces they can't do anything they are pretty much useless it seems like they don't have any armies uh left and that might be what's going on here they i think they just had no armies left as ever since the last war we had against them we crushed their uh, armies and now they have nothing to defend themselves against and I, I don't that leads me to the question as to why they did not accept the ultimatum because they could have just uh, simply accepted the ultimatum and let me get the territories and have like a truce with me for a 20 time 29th turn which prevents me from attacking them you know they they should have done that just slowing it down as much as possible because they don't at this point they're just gonna die they could have survived longer if they just did the if just if they just accepted boys the the ultimatum but they didn't and now they're gonna pay for it they're just gonna lose everything they had boys all the all the the, the build up that they had and everything it's just all gonna be lost i'm gonna go here with that army i don't need it uh, there anymore uh, we're gonna send you over there and uh, with these three armies i guess we're just gonna uh, i guess i'm gonna attack over there i should be all right let's attack uh, symbolize these two armies bring them together uh, we are also with you i guess just go over there the last remaining of their territories is mostly concentrated over there uh, i might be tempted to just keep them alive but at the same time i don't really want to at the same time actually because i want to finish them off so they are not going to be a danger to me in the future. They can't rebuild any armies, you know. So I'm actually not going to do anything about this whole situation. I I'm going to send uh, you over there. 
right here. There we go. Reinforce that side. And I think uh, we're good. Yeah, we can skip to the next turn. We're already at se turn 71, uh, boys. They are starting to attack again. There we go. They're starting to reply. Most of their forces were in the west. It's still, uh, for the most part, very small portions of army. The biggest divisions, the amount of divisions they have in one single time that I see, the tile that I saw so far, was a hundred, about a hundred. So it's not a lot. It's really not a lot, and it's not scary at all. Once I get my troops into position, I'll be able for sure to just for a squash them once and for all. So let's head back with all my divisions right here. We're gonna head them back all out, out right here. Uh, I could colonize this, but as long as none of these territories belong to me, I'm not gonna colonize anything. I'm not gonna go into a, a Russia, boys, modern Russia. So uh, we're gonna do uh, go here, I guess. Keep colonizing, uh, keep attacking right here. We're gonna get Badiang. Uh, we are about to get Beijing for uh, uh, soon enough. I'm not gonna go there just yet. Don't want to split up too much my forces and make a mistake by doing that. Okay, so they took that back. That's not good. They went on my back right there. That's okay though because oh, sh they managed to defeat my army. Damn, that's that's the first big title, uh, the big defense from their part. Yeah, that's a huge one. Kind of okay. All right. I'll send this guy back, try and defend this whole thing. But we're gonna uh, get, uh, continue to send uh, these couple armies here. We're gonna split it in half right here. There we go. And you, you are actually gonna go. You're gonna go here. There we go. Uh, next up, you over there. You're gonna start attacking since since these guys are starting to assault us over here. Let's send these divisions. Continue to send them over right here. It's gonna take a time, a little bit of more time for them to to move to where I wanted them to be, but they'll get there in no time. They'll go there eventually, boys. No worries about that. All right, you can keep assaulting me if you want, buddy. But eventually, I'll ca it'll catch up to you. And all these divisions that you're getting there, they're not. They're just all gonna die. There we go. Uh, we got an extra point. Colonization point three, boys. Once again, uh, let's do the seventy-five percent right here. Let's go. All right, so turn 70, uh, 74, boys. We are going to go here. And with this army, I'm actually going to go in that direction. I'm going to send this guy over here. Uh, now I can actually start sending half of my division. So I'm going to send half of them right there. And the other half, I'm going to send them there to reinforce. They're probably going to try and get the, uh, the assault first. Or I'm going to be able to counterattack them and finish that off. Uh, let's just go there for now. Uh, with this one and I guess with you you can go there now for sure uh, I am gonna get some soldiers right here just in case they try and attack me uh, I am actually as well gonna go in that direction for that one you go here and uh, the rest of my my two remaining uh, sets of divisions they're gonna get in position soon enough let's continue our move boys oh, we actually get the assault first this time around which is very good boys very good. It just means that I can mobilize faster in that sense. Okay, so now they're attacking me. All right, so that's that. 75%. The Mogulians are pulling up a fight. They're still pulling up some type of fight, boys. So it's not all uh, just me all... Uh, it's not just me destroying them completely. I mean, they're giving me a little bit of a challenge, at least. Uh, I am going to keep you here unless... No, I'm actually... I send you over there. Uh, you're my attack forces, so I gotta keep you there. So nobody else remaining there. I guess I can uh, s reinforce this side right here. And uh, same thing for you. I guess I'm gonna send you back there. You are gonna go here, and uh, you're gonna go there. Reinforce with them. Same thing for you. Uh, we are gonna attack this side right here, and we're gonna attack this side. We're starting to push towards the north right here. Push them back and circle them big time. So they're getting the first assault there. That's all they could do, I guess. So bad for them right there. There we go, boys. So this is going to be my last turn, though. I am going to spend this as my last turn. So let's see what we can do with it. With this last turn right here. I'm going to go over there, these two directions. Keep uh, sending these troops over there as well while we're at it. Just like that. And in the south... 
Just going to send them over there. And we're going to mobilize these two armies together. You are going to go in that direction. And you're going to go there. Same thing for you. You're going to go in that direction. There we go, boys. So let's get to one more turn. Let's see the assaults right here. We're taking this, this. There we go. Just assaulting big time. We haven't taken Beijing yet. But our next assault is going to be on Beijing. So uh, let's end it right here we are about to have non-aggression pack with these guys absolutely not um we have some assimilating that we can do i guess uh there we go so yeah we were gonna finish it right here for today uh in the next turn we are in the next video we are gonna end up defeating the zongnu so the mongolian empire defeating them all together and uh, making sure that they don't come back this time around We'll probably be able to colonize a little bit more of uh, Eurasia slash Russia here, modern Russia. But uh, we'll see if that's going to be an actual thing because we're coming up towards the end, towards the uh, 100 turns here. So soon enough, we'll have to switch for the uh, African, ter African territories. So good enough. The Aztec Empire is still doing its thing over there. They're not at war with anybody, right? No, it doesn't seem like they are, boys. They're not at war anybody. Uh, over here in Europe, still pretty much most of the same. Not much of a change, except for Gascony, who is actually starting to defeat the Moors, which was the only thing preventing them uh, from attacking Rome, the rest of the Roman Empire uh, territory. So Rome, as soon as it's fall here, it's pretty much over with, uh, I'm guessing so. Rome is still alive somehow, but uh, not for long, boys, not for long. So remember to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys for the next one. Keep it easy.